this, do a reset. Soft reset. Hello, this is uh, Kench1913 along with... Bullzo. And we are doing a quick tutorial video for Fusion. Uh, we're going to show you how to uh, load and not load your or load your thing. Because I had a lot of trouble with Shining Force CD on how to actually save the game so that I could transfer over my data to the next part of the game. So the Bullzome Guides, the great Bullzome, is here to show us how to do it. So, okay, so what do we have to do first? Now, first thing you do is you go, uh, is you hit file and you hit gonna... create RAM. All right, so we're going to come, we're using the Fusion 3.64 Sega CD thing. And what we're going to do is come down to file and create new RAM cart. And now I'm just going to pick 64 bytes. You can do 128 or whatever. And then you're going to hit OK. Now I'm going to call this test. And then I'm going to hit save. A fierce battle Now what's the next thing we got to do, James? Now the next thing you have to do is close up. What you would normally do is you would close out the emulator yes. and open it back up. Alright, so I'm going to do that and be right back. Alright, we have closed it and then we have reopened the emulator. So now what are we going to do, James? Alright, now what you want to do is you want to click File and uh, load your Sega CD game. Okay, so in this instance, Shining Force CD. And then what? And then hit, hit File and then Load RAM Cart. So we're going to load the RAM Cart Test. That's the one I'm using. So now that's loaded. Now what? Actually, we, now we can actually save something. So what I'm going to do is actually... I'm going to load a save state that I have, and we're going to, uh, let's see, we're going to load a save state. This is, this is the battle, I saved it right before we fought the final battle in book one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game, because that's what you got to do. That's what and you our, have to do. Yep, yeah, and our adventure has been saved. We're going to say, whoops. We're going to say good night to low. And uh, then what are we going to have to do after this? So we're going to... Our adventure been saved. We do not want to continue. Because this was very confusing when I was trying to do it before. You know, I was trying to figure out what the hell was going wrong. And luckily, the Great Bull Zone showed me what we had to do. So we saved our game. Now what do we have to do? Now just do a uh, soft reset and uh, load the RAM card again. You can do soft reset from file. Mm -hmm. uh, soft reset, it's like control tab or something. Okay, we did a soft reset and now we're gonna load RAM card. Test. Now let's check and see if our, if our, uh, if our save file saved or actually worked because like I said, I just finished book one a couple days ago and I was having a lot of trouble figuring out how the he why did it never save? Why did the data never save? And uh, because you can transfer over data or uh, some data Sonic. from um, what is it? Book one to book two. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, and it can be confusing. So let's open this bad boy up and let's see if we did this right. Because I never actually owned a Sega CD myself. Alright, so we put the books in order one. Right, and what you'll what you'll do is you'll copy data and you'll copy that one over to the cartridge. Okay. Yeah, because you can only play I think like up to two books on the actual inner cartridge inner inner data, right? Because the Sega C D came with its own data and then you have to kind of get like a memory card kind of thing yeah okay so now what do we have to do in order to start book two with our other characters now what you would do is you would hit a uh, new game okay and then you would uh you know of course name your character and everything and when she asks if it's a sequel you hit yes 
Well, she'll do that in a second. Yeah, toward the root of evil. Okay, so this evil is God Awakens two. or whatever. And what's the hero's name? We're just gonna name it uh, the default name, Deanna. And then is this a sequel? Okay. All right, cool. So this is how you would uh, ki uh, transfer over your data, basically. Right, and if you wanted to double check and make sure that everything worked properly, you would uh, close out the emulator and um, you know load your game again, and then click uh, file and then load RAM card. Again. Okay. Well, let's give it to oh sequel to which story, and then we can pick which one. I'm just gonna pick this one. They're both they should both be the same. I may know some of the characters in it, and we'll just do it on the normal. All right, so that's it. That's how. This is pretty easy. Now that now that the great Bozom has showed me how to do it, we were able to transfer over stuff. This is how you do it. I know people were asking questions. I couldn't get any answers on Shining Force Central. I'll tell you that right now. But uh, yes, thank you to the great Bozom on showing us how to actually make a uh, RAM cart and use it for the Sega CD, so we can continue playing. All these great games for the Sega CD, especially Shining Force CD. Anytime. All right, so this has been Kenshin 1913. I'm going to leave a link to the Bolzone Guides channel. Please subscribe to him because he's the man, and he helped me out quite a bit because I, I seriously, it took me forever to try to figure this out. And it's, and you know what? You got to ask for help every once in a while. Yeah. Well, you helped me out when I was first starting. Yeah. So, again, this has been Kenshin1913 along with... The Great Bullzone. And we will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.